Yes, my ass. Um, I just checked my rider yeah. and your rider said should I had four beers instead of three. Well, there's two more. All right, well, I'm gonna contact my lawyer. <clears throat> All right, so this episode, why don't you try to not use the nasally voice and like use a different voice? And I'll use like a Matthew McConaughey voice. Oh, okay. It's all about movies. Well, you just get with. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Wacom, Texas. That's really annoying. Uh, my name is Jay Myers. I'm Chris Kerr. Seriously, that's enough, dude. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Welcome back. You want me to just start again? Or Welcome you... back. You want me to... I'm, still, I'm, I'm breaking it a little bit. I'll get it. No. Uh, today's episode is something that I am actually glad. I've asked for this uh, several times to do this theme, and I've been told no um, on, on countless measures until the artists figured out how to draw well, what problem. I'm talking about. Uh, we have no points. No, I got it. All right. Um, Good. And that is that the uh, episode today is about one of my favorite subjects, which is movies. I'm not even sure where to start, but Give me we can start. Okay. We can start probably talking about maybe just my collection alone. Now, I like my collection, of course, because I. Uh, Orange? Yeah. Something a little more dynamic. Something more like... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but... It's fine. Like that? A different color. Yeah, that's okay. good. Uh, we could talk about my own collection, and because um, I've got a massive collection. I've you know collected them over years for birthdays and gifts, for Christmas and things. Now, I like talking about my... Do you have separate it out by like action films and drama? And Not, no, I don't. No, I don't. I, I actually have them separated now. On my Blu-ray shelves and then my DVD shelves. Can you have me with navy blue? Yeah. Now. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do have my classics and I do have comedies, television separated from my Blu-rays. My Blu-rays are kind of a mess. I haven't organized them in quite some time. But I've got them organized. I've got Criterion Collection Blu-rays on one shelf. And then I've got some just DVDs on the other. But I like my collection and talking about it because it's very... Uh, uh, Eclectic is that the right word or very uh, bizarre? I've got uh, I like classics. I grew up on a lot of classic comedies, uh, Marx Brothers, you know Buster Keaton. I have a bunch of his Blu-rays now, uh, which look great by the way. And then I uh, give me a black. You know Jimmy Stewart. Oh, what I did this again? Get that off. Oh, click. There we go. Uh, Control me, Z. Yeah, I'm gonna just step backwards a bunch. All right, that's good. Uh, wait, I'm gonna bring this down. Yep, and then black. Black. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's kind of fun with the uh, Wacom. You don't always have to do uh, um, curved linear type lines. You can also use a straight edge. So I just have like a old crappy folder that Jay let me borrow, and I'm using it to make straight lines. So it's kind of cool. They're not really that straight though. They're pretty straight. Um, but back to my my DVD collection. I like talking about it because I have a lot of them, and it's kind of like one of my things, you know. Like I, sh- when people come over to my house, can you hit me with? Um, I can a gray, show the like off white. It's a good icebreaker, you know. Movies are great icebreakers because uh, people are oh, gray. Yeah, they'll like gray. Yeah, that's good. It's I who renounce you, and in the name of Satan, I place a curse upon you. <laughs> Black Sunday is like no motion picture you've ever seen. Really saturated. Like that? Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, I honestly can't keep remembering what I'm talking about. Um, Everybody has been there before when the DVDs start slumping down against not, each other. Not mine because I don't have the space on my shelf for them to slump. Right. You know, they're packed like in Amen. like sardines. Uh Blue, like or or cold uh, colors. I got blue, green. I, I, okay, what, you white. just pick one and then do the rest the same color. I seriously can't remember what I'm even talking about. Light blue. We haven't done light blue. Okay, like that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
This is like a Waterworld blue. Do you have Waterworld? I don't have Waterworld, which what? I I know I should. That's a great James Cameron film. Uh, oh, Kevin Costner. Yeah, Kevin Costner is in it, but it's a James Cameron, I think, directed it, uh, who also made Avatar, which won several Oscars for cinematography even, which is funny because it's a lot of green screen and a lot of CGI. Uh, But the thing was, they built the camera for that movie, and it was kind of revolutionary as far as when it came out. All right, all right, all right. I own no Matthew McConaughey movies, uh, even though he won won an Oscar. Listen up, listen up. um, Let me... uh, uh, how about a yellow, but not so muddled like the first one? What happened to like the DVD? Bright. <laughs> well, sometimes if you leave a DVD in your car, it can get a little bit uh, wonky. I actually owned a DVD one bright, time. Bright yellow. Bright. Like Sunshine. Like, uh, like Sunshine that. of the et- Eternal Mind. Like that. You have that movie? A Sunshine and Spotless Mind. I do have that one. That was Michelle Gondry. Oh, was was Sunshine of the Eternal Mind. Spotless Mind. Now, uh, I had this Michelle Gondry film, which I actually got the pleasure of meeting him, and I let him... Um, hey, Michelle sounds like a woman. It's a guy, it's a French film director, one of my, all, honestly, all my all, all-time favorites. One movie that he made was uh, Be Kind Rewind, which I got to see him talk, do a presentation on. And that movie was totally underrated, uh, and I felt like it was kind of genius and maybe ahead of its time. I like the idea of a community kind of film, and that's what I end up doing. I'm done. A lot of- that looks awesome. Okay, so it was less even about the movies that he's talking about and more about an award-winning composition. I kept it conceptual, I kept it light, I kept it colorful, abstract. And- well, and um, as it turns out, we didn't even need the commentary about the movies because well, I didn't we, even get it. I didn't give any commentary really because we didn't impressive composition because I kept forgetting what I'm doing because you had me change colors. You should have told me what overlap uh, scale scale. We didn't need today because they're all the same scales. So the DVD is uh, well, they should have been all the same scale, but they're all jacked you know what up size over here. DVD would be it would be like seven by nine, right? So they're all seven I by nine much. by That's probably a half question. an inch. So I didn't have to work a lot with scale. So it all boiled down to overlap and tension today two uh two of my most favorite graphic design principles well i was supposed to be able to talk about thank everybody for watching about our informative show about movies this has been wacom texas with chris kerr jay myers all right all right all right that's not fair (laughs) that's our show thank you Honestly, you told me I'd have a chance to finally talk about movies, and I didn't even... I looked like an idiot. Fuck! I gave you, like, at least seven and a half minutes yeah, to talk about like your movies, and no, you you're, like you're fumbling time. around. You couldn't pick a color. You couldn't, you know... No. You had plenty of time you to talk me, about Chris, your movies. You, you should have told me what colors you I've seen that your fair, fair, dude. It wasn't I know even, what you're doing. It's not even that, that impressive. That was intentional, dude. That's annoying. It's, it's all action movies. I know. You always... You're always... It's about yeah, whatever it's subject like, art you want to talk about, but when I want to talk about movies... two and three... Chris, you know, come on. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one through four. He Man, one through three. Yeah. I think, honestly, if I can say this, you're a little too obsessed with having every movie and like a, a genre, and you're not getting the best movies you could have. I have a pretty you know good I mean? collection. If you would actually come over to my house, you'd maybe check it out, but you, you're always too busy or something. I don't know what the hell. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of peeved, but I'll get over Great it. composition, though. No, it's not even that good. Great composition.